What's up everyone, it's your boy Kesmir here, and I'm back with another episode of The Walking Dead. Uh, we're in this uh, school uh, in Crawford, and we just got our battery, and then she ran off with it. Oh, okay. Good luck climbing this, Lee. Can't reach it. It's too high up. Yeah. Well, let's see how they're doing with the medical supplies since we're here. Or maybe we should go talk to Clem. You sure you two don't need any help? We're taking care of it, Lee. Okay. Okay, okay. I got it. I'm the third wheel. You don't want me around. Let's check on Clem and Ben. Make sure Clem's keeping him in check. Oh, what's this down here? Oh, those are the Oh gosh, Kenny. What do you do, dude? You guys have to bring all the walkers with you? We're the geeks. You're back. Yeah, and we made out pretty good too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Oh no. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. All right, let's get to know you. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old, even children, those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. It's how I feel. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. Goodness. So you're a cancer survivor? Like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? <laughs> She's the one who had cancer. How long have you known Vernon? A couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together, kept us alive. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. Well, I already told you I got the battery. What's up, Clem? You okay, Clem? Yeah. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Just sit tight, okay? I need to go take care of a few things. All right. Yeah, Molly's about the best thing to happen to this group. Just a bunch of paste. I have to wonder what's going on in the rest of the world. 
Yeah, really. Yeah, even in, in like the the TV series. I, I haven't watched the most recent season, but I'm, I'm just I'm curious what's going on overseas and everything. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? Uh, calm down, Kenny. Goodness. He's turned into such a puke. I think aside from Clem, Kenny's the one who's been with us the longest. Yep. Well, let's go check out the medical room again. It's only going to be so long till this glass breaks. Nothing. Oh, I can open it. Sounds like there's a shit ton of walkers out there. I'm tempted to press X. I would think that he would override my decision, but let's not. Shit. What? Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. Well, we can't shoot him. I guess we're gonna shoot him. Oh. So where'd they come from? into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the meds? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Maybe we should try looking somewhere else for medicine. In Crawford? This place is too overrun. No, that safe is our best chance. Yeah, it'd be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. An ultrasound? There's dried blood on this printout. And on the floor. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there. Then out the door. What the hell happened here? already cleaned out y'all already checked these drawers yes Lee nothing in there worth taking no tape inside How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. Hey, Doc. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us. And for all your help. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. 
It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? And we're no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. I heard that. Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. Don't worry. She'll be back. I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. How much time do you think Omid has, Doc? You want my medical opinion? The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. Let's just leave it at that, huh? I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? Got a tape. Phones probably haven't worked in months. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. You don't want to take a nap, Lee? Tape number one. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do this. I can't do this. Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Well, he almost put the code in. Damn it. We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him. Yeah, that was the walker she was beating on. Curious where those walkers came from. Bathroom or something, maybe? Isn't an option. I gotta hop over. It looks like he's crawled away now. So he, he was alive, if you guys remember. He's wiggling. Let's just double check over here. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh gosh. But where'd this one come from? Did that fall off the shelf? Too many walkers in there. Oh yeah, they all made it inside, didn't they? This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Shit, time to go. Now how am I going to get back? Is it just going to magically poof me inside the school? Which of the combinations to that locker? Logan, this must have been his locker. The tape, the safe combination has got to be on one of these. Not necessarily, but for story progression, yeah. Two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living? If this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. More importantly, we got the combination. Oh, she probably wasn't getting headshots either. Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. I all think right. she's pregnant. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. <laughs> We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. What do you guys think? Should we watch it? Curiosity, am I right? Oh, 
Oh, my. Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Overson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die or she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? <laughs> Had to get one more in before he cut her off, apparently. Well, shit. Well, we know why Molly was not happy in the alley. And I bet you those walkers are going to start breaking that glass soon. It's just glass holding all them guys back. shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. I'm just kidding. Here you go. What's that? Nothing. You can quit with the Ag Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place or in their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret, kept her safe for as long as I could, but in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked, how anything was better than becoming one of them, but I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late, before they came and took my sister away. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Sorry, I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. What the fuck are you doing out here? Kenny and I still can't get the door open to the armory. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Oh. Uh, Ken? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, no. Oh, shit! Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, I love Molly. She's so cool. Oh my gosh. I didn't shoot. Oh heck yeah! Had a girl Clem. What the fuck 
is going on? They're coming. Oh, shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, <laughs> damn you! <laughs> ben! I swear! This is my fault, all my fault. The hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Penny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Fine. Go ahead, tell him. It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the motor inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. That's when Duck... Oh! Kitty man, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. Gotta focus on getting out of here. You little piss ant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? <laughs> dead! My wife and child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kenny, listen to me. You can whip his skinny little ass later. But right now, we gotta go! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I can't do this right now. I abstain. We'll figure this out later. Yeah, let's just go. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? Well, you're dead. So you don't get a say no. <laughs> Do you get a say? Nope. Damn right. Burning. One less for the boat. <laughs> just that's why I said. Why don't you guys join my group? Y'all be dead one day. Should have stayed in the sewer, guys. Sorry. So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I couldn't. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. Oh, shut that one. Fuck! It's not gonna hold. Back upstairs. Wait, look. Oh gosh. Oh, look up.
There goes our axe. Oh, is that... That's the guy who was running the place. Sorry. I just, I can't. I'm sorry. He's just. He's such a worthless individual. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Everything else is falling apart. And we got too many people for the boat. And Alright guys. We're going to end this one here. Uh, yeah. I don't know. You just get all the feels in this one. I don't know. I feel bad. I just... You don't know what choices to make. Let me, guess let me know in the comments. What choices I should have made differently. I don't know. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Kesmir out.